Hey, it is so exciting. Today on this episode, we are going to talk about your core values. Thank you for being here with I Can with Lorianne because you can with Lorianne. We are going to do brain boosting hacks that are gonna go into the backside of your brain, figure out your core values, and let them come out your mouth. Yeah, you think that's possible? <laughs> Well, I've done it before and I've done it with so many people over the last couple of years that I want to share it with you now. This is exciting and it's so much fun. So get your pen and paper out and let's get started. When I get to the part where I say, pause this recording, then stop it so that you can do the work that I'm asking you to do. And within a matter of 15 minutes or less, you are going to have your core values. Okay, are you excited? Let's do this. So at the top of your paper, I want you to write core values, and then I want you to make a list of eight to 10 people. So you're gonna go down, you're gonna start making a list of eight to 10 people, okay? On this, I'm gonna give you some ideas of people. So you can do mentors, you can do church leaders, you can do family, friends, teachers, coaches, authors, sports figures, actors, political leaders, past and present, um, your church leaders, community leaders, activists. They don't have to be alive. Uh, it can be any of these people that have impressed you in a certain way. It could be people that influenced you when you were very young or people that influenced you just today. Maybe you read a book and you really got impressed with the way this author is speaking to you and speaking to your heart and your soul. These are the people that you wanna make a list of, that you respect and you admire. So pause this video right now, or this recording, and list eight to 10 people that you admire or respect. Okay, now that you have those people listed that you admire and you respect, you're gonna go down and to the side, off to the other side of those people, you are gonna start writing qualities. So just, you can put a little line right there and you can start writing qualities. Okay, so you're gonna write qualities that you admire or respect. So I put down my grandma and the qualities that I admire and respect in my grandma is that she's patient, nurturing, strong, kind, loving, thoughtful, generous, smart, dependable. Then after I list all of those qualities that she has, I go to the second person on my list, which was my mom and I write down that she's hardworking, disciplined, peaceful. She's all of these other things, but then I'm adding to my list. She's intelligent, she is talented, and then I go to the next person. So the next person on my list is Oprah, and I write down the things with Oprah, that she's exciting, extraordinary, compassionate, humanitarian, and then I go to my next person and I list any of the qualities that are already there. And if they already possess that quality, you're gonna put a check mark. See all those check marks that I put next to? If they've already got a quality that I've listed already, you don't need to double list it. So like all three of those people are nurturing, strong, kind, thoughtful, loving. I'm not gonna write those down again. I'm just gonna put a check mark by it. And then if I haven't listed a quality already, as I go down my list of eight to 10 people, I'm gonna add it. So let's see, I get down here to um, somebody that's in my church, um, President Hinckley, and I go down and I, I already have marked, check mark, check mark, check mark, yep, he's generous, he's smart, he's loyal, he's hardworking, he's peaceful, he's intelligent, He's joyful, he's extraordinary, 
But now there's one that he I haven't got listed down here. He's eternal. He's spiritual. He's wise. He's supportive. Okay, and then I get down to my dad, who's at the bottom, and I make some check marks of my up here because he's nurturing, he's strong, kind, smart, dependable, intelligent. Um, and then I write hilarious because my dad was hilarious. <laughs> he was fun. Um, he was energetic. He was determined. And so I keep adding qualities down to the bottom of my list. I keep adding them on. And then when I get done with all eight to 10 people, I've got this massive list of all of these qualities. So I want you to pause the recording right now and I want you to list all those qualities. If they are all nurturing, you're gonna have 10 check marks next to nurturing. If they are all loving, you're gonna have 10 check marks next to loving. But you're gonna list all those qualities and then you're gonna put the check marks. So pause the recording right now and do that step. Okay, so now this is what your paper should look like with those people listed out there, the qualities, and then check marks. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back on the next page. Let me put these, this paper down. Now you're going to take, because you've listed your, you've listed your people all over here. Now you've listed your loving, kind, generous, um, loyal, dependable. Okay, you've listed all these and you've got check marks next to each one, you know, however many check marks right there. So now you're gonna turn the page over and you are gonna write down the statement, I am, okay? Then you're going to go back to those qualities. You're going to see the ones that you have the very most check marks for. And you're going to write down loving or whatever the very highest one for you is. Maybe you wrote down, um, you wrote down a past president of the United States. Maybe you wrote down Abraham Lincoln and you wrote down patriotic. And then you discovered, oh wow, these other people, they were patriotic too. And you put more check marks on there. So maybe patriotic is one of the qualities that you like. Um, humble, peaceable, um, generous. Okay, so maybe those are your top five that were on the list, and you've just transferred them from over on this other page. So you have all of their qualities over here, the 10 people, all their qualities. Now you've taken those qualities with that has the most check marks, and you're going to make an I am statement out of it. Now, let me just read to you what this means. When you're being who you really are, you are showing up as the best version of yourself. There is no striving to be better at these qualities. You are either being who you are or you are not. When your actions are out of alignment with any one of your core values, you will experience incoherence. When they are in alignment, you experience coherence. So a way of understanding that is when you have that yucky gut feeling you're incoher being incoherent with your core values when you're feeling that flow and that sweet sensation going through your body of really thinking i am in the flow this is like exactly what i love doing then you're incoherent with your core values every single person is different but this exercise works on every single person. So now you can write your I am statement and you can say, these are my core values. I am strong, kind, loving, generous, thoughtful, smart, dependable, loyal, disciplined, peaceful, creative, 
intelligent, extraordinary, compassion, wise, hilarious, energetic, joyful, courageous, entertaining, dreamer, sexy, enthusiastic, honest, integrity, inspiring, persistent, confident, intuitive. I am friendly. And then at the end, you're going to write this statement. So get your paper out right now so you can write this statement. I know they are mine because I see them in others. These are my core values. I am strong, kind, loving, thoughtful, sexy, enthusiastic, hilarious, persistent, confident. I know they are mine because I see them in others. Write that whole complete sentence on the next page. These are my core values. I am, and then list all those values that you just discovered, every one of them that you want to write down. You don't just have to have five. You can write any of these down. If you had a list of 20, write 20 of them down if you want. If you only had a list of five, write down five. And then at the end, you write the statement, I know they are mine because I see them in others. I know they are mine because I see them in others. Then you keep this paper really close wherever you are. You can type it out on your um, and make it your screenshot for your phone or put it in a Word document so you can pull it up and you can read it. Whenever you get stuck, you go back to that or you're, you start having these thing, funny things go on in your mind where your mind is talking to you and telling you that, you're dumb or stupid or you don't matter or this doesn't matter anyway you're not enough everybody else is better than you those are false statements they are not true those thoughts are trying to kill your creativity and we want you to have your core values alive and energetic and flowing through every part of your body so that when you get stuck and those things start coming to you, you read your statement, your core value statement. These are my core values. I am generous, smart, dependable, loyal, disciplined, peaceful, creative, intelligent, extraordinary, friendly, persistent, confident. I know they are mine because I see them in others. Congratulations for completing your core value course of brain hacks that we've gone through the back of your brain and now we've been able to get it come out through your mouth and all of your whole being will feel this and resonate with this every time you need to read it again and if there's a time you want to add a core value on there do it it's not set in stone but this is the coolest way to do a brain hack to get it out of your brain and onto paper and you reading it every day. And if you want a little bonus tip, do you want a little bonus tip? Okay, so here's a really cool little bonus tip. For those of you that don't want the bonus tip, you can just stop the recording and move on to your day. But those of you that want the bonus tip, here it is. So let me tell you my secret. I take my core value and I read it into my phone so it's in my voice and I play Baroque music in the background. So I turn Baroque music onto my computer, let it play Baroque music, B-A-R-O-Q-U-E, Baroque music, not broken music, <laughs> Baroque music. <laughs> you play that on your computer you get your phone and you record yourself reading your core value statement. Then you play that every day. Every day you play that. It's less than like five minutes that you play your core value statement. Your brain hears it from you and it believes that it is the truth because you've gone through the work to do this. 
So I want to hear from you in the comments if this was powerful for you today. If this was something that worked for you. And for those of you that have done it and gone through the entire exercise and played it with the music, I want to know how it has impacted you. And you can share with me at Lorianne, Lorianne at LorianneGarner.com. I also have a website that's called Yes You Can with Lorianne. My name is L-O-R-I-A-N-N. -N. Yes You Can with Lorianne. And, or you can send me an email at Lorianne at LorianneGarner.com. <laughs> so Lorianne at LorianneGarner.com. Okay, you guys have an awesome day and I am excited for your core values. I'm excited for you to be living within your core values, impacting the world and making the difference in your life and those around you. Have an excellent day. Bye.